Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your Cornerstone Community Church Service for October the 29th. Let's open our time with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for this wonderful opportunity to worship you in the beauty of holiness and also as well, Lord, to hear God's word and also learn about healing today. So we ask your blessing upon our time together in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I do want to um, invite you to our in-person service. It's going to be a healing service, and it starts at 11 a.m. today. We meet at Cornerstone Hall. That's number 6 Tashay Street in St. Albert. Our doors open at 1045, and our service starts at 11 a.m. And we're going to start off with There is a Rock. There is no rock. There's no God like a God.
you have it. We started off our time together with two great songs. And now let's hear the word of God. So Heavenly Father, thank you today for your wonderful healing word. And today, Lord, we're going to look at seven different promises from the book of Isaiah and their application today. And we ask your blessing upon it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, today I was looking at seven different healing scriptures from the book of Isaiah, and I love the application of it. So the first one we're going to look at is Isaiah 40, 29. And it says simply this, he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Isn't that great to know that when you feel weary, when you feel weak, God has promised in this wonderful scripture that he is going to give you strength and he is also going to give you power. And that's resurrection power that we have today. And of course, when we're weak and exhausted, God provides the strength that we need to carry on. And this wonderful verse reminds us that his power is available to us all the time. You know, Paul said in Philippians chapter 4, verse number 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And then Paul also reminds us in Romans 8, 11, that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us. So it's so wonderful to know that we have resurrection power and resurrection ability because of the Lord. So when you feel weary and when you feel weak, God's power and God's strength is available to you. Then we have Isaiah chapter 58, verse number 11. Listen to what it says. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in the sun-scorched land, and he will strengthen you. And the promise is that you'll be a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Isn't it great to know that the Lord has promised that he is going to guide us? And also as well, he is going to satisfy us with his, with our needs. Like, you know, there are some times we feel like we've been sun scorched, and there are times where we, we feel we've been overwhelmed. But he gives us this wonderful promise, and that is the fact that we're going to be fruitful like a well-watered garden, and also the Lord will give us a cistern, or he will give us waters that never fail. You know, Jesus told the woman in the uh, Samaritan well, he says, I give water that no one will ever thirst again. And then he also said, out of your innermost being will flow rivers of living water. Isn't it great to know that God is going to do that for today? This verse simply offers us hope and assurance that will God will guide us in difficult times. I love what it says in Romans 12 too. He says that we will not be trans, we will not conform to the world, but we will be transformed by the renewing of our mind that we would know the perfect and acceptable will of God. And that means that in those difficult times, God is going to guide us, but he's also going to provide uh, for our needs and refreshing with his constant presence. Now listen to what it says in Isaiah 41, verse number 13. For I am the Lord who takes a hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Now, there were several times in the scriptures where, uh, you know, like Isaiah 41, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am with you. I am, I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I'll hold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 is such a great scripture. And also he says, when we feel overwhelmed and fearful, God promises to take a hold of our hand and lead us through the darkness. Isn't that great to know? that his help is always near. I, I love that. And when I was in Israel many, many years ago, I had the privilege of being down in the community of Tiberias, right along the Sea of Galilee. And uh, I remember looking at all the uh, hillside and seeing all these different cities on the hill. And it just reminded us that we are like the uh, city on the hill. I love what Ezra also said when he said in um, uh, Psalm 119, 
the, the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It is so great to know that we do not have to be afraid. In fact, in 2 Timothy 1.7, it says simply this, that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. So today you have love, power, and a sound mind, and also as well, you need to know the Lord's going to take your right hand and he is going to guide you. Now listen to what it says in Isaiah 61, verse number one. Jesus also said this in his dissertation and sermon in uh, the community of Nazareth. He said, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because he has sent me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and the release of those in darkness. So if you know someone who's in darkness, introduce them to Jesus Christ. And this, of course, speaks about how that Jesus would come and bring good news to the poor. Anyone who does not know Jesus Christ in their spiritual condition, they are poor. But he also promised that he would heal the brokenhearted. So if you feel brokenhearted today, Jesus can heal you. Also, freedom to those who are captive. It reminds us that God's power is at work today. You know, at the end of this message, I'm going to be praying along that lines. Also as well, listen to what it says in Isaiah chapter 49, verse number 16. So see, I have engraved you on the palm of my hands. Your walls will ever be your Will, uh, will ever be with me. Isn't that great to know? This verse speaks of God's love and concern for us. It reminds us that we're always on his mind and he cares for us deeply. He says simply this, I have engraved you on the palm of my hand. So whenever the Lord thinks about us and looks at his hands, now of course this is a spiritual connotation because of the fact that the Lord is, of course, a spirit. And we who worship him and worship him in spirit and truth. But the reality of the situation is this, that God, you are always on God's mind. That is an amazing thought. There are 8 billion plus people on this planet, and God is thinking about every single one of us. But he's also thinking about you and me today. And I love the fact that, Lord, you are with us today. Also as well, it says in Isaiah 43, verse number two, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk in the fire, you'll not be burned and the flames will, of course, set will not set you ablaze. I, I love that. Two applications that I'd like to leave with you, first of all. Of course, the nation of Israel. And maybe this is what Isaiah was thinking about. He was thinking about the fact that the uh, nation of Israel had the privilege of passing through two impossible water hazards or water uh, blockages. And that was, of course, the Red Sea and also as well, the Jordan River. He says, when you pass through the water, I will be with you. And then he was maybe thinking about uh, Isaiah may have been looking in the future at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. How that God saved them from the fiery furnace. Either way, this means that God will bring his comfort and assurance that even in the midst of the trials and the hardships that we face, it reminds us that his protection is always available. I love that one little uh, situation with the with the uh, three boys in the fiery furnace. Here is Nebuchadnezzar. He looks through the glass and he sees a fourth man in the fire and he says, that guy looks like the son of God. Now, of course, we know uh, here in our day that that was a pre-incarnate appearance of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the fourth man in the fire. So if you find yourself in a fiery situation, an overwhelming flooded situation, <laughs> I'm talking about in a spirit sense, God is going to be with you. And then the last one here is Isaiah 14, 4. He says, I will heal their waywardness and I will love them freely for my anger has turned away from them. This speaks of God's unconditional love for us and is willing to heal us 
even when we stray from his path. It reminds us that he's always ready to forgive and to restore us. I love that. And I love the story of the prodigal son, that when he's down in that pig pen and he's looking at that pig slop and thinking to himself, what am I doing here? I'm going to head back to my dad. He has one of those aha moments. I, I love that. And I want to pray for those individuals as well today. But you know what? He came back and his father saw him. He threw his arms around him. Even when the son was getting ready to give his you know, speech that he had all planned up, the father totally ignored that. He put on new clothes on this boy, killed the fatted calf, put on the uh, ring and basically said, my son who was dead is now alive. So I love this. These are wonderful healing scriptures for us today. So let's pray right now. Father in heaven, we thank you today. And, and Lord, what we're going to do today is we're going to cover all of our basic prayer times. And that is that normally we pray for healing and also for provision. Well, we're going to pray these scriptures today. Lord, I thank you today for Isaiah 40, 29, that Lord, you give strength to the weary and you increase the power of the weak. Lord, in those times that we are feeling weak and weary, you are there and your power is available at all times. Lord, you said in Isaiah 58, verse number 11, that you would guide us and satisfy our needs and you would strengthen our frame and you would, Lord, give us that abundant life. I pray today that, Lord, in our difficult times, Lord, you're going to provide those times of refreshing and you're going to give us your constant presence. Lord, I thank you today that you are the Lord who takes us by the right hand and you're going to help us and we're never going to have to be in fear. Lord, there are times that we feel overwhelmed and fearful, but you promised us, Lord, just like footprints in the sand, that Lord, you're going to lift us up in those times. Your help is always near. Lord, you are going to heal the brokenhearted. You are going to set the captive free. And Lord, today you remind us of our of your power working in our world today. Thank you for that. And thank you, Lord, today that you have engraved us in the palm of your hands. Lord, you are always we, I should say, are always on your mind. And you care for us, Lord, very, very deeply. Lord, I thank you for the fact that, Lord, in those watery, flooded conditions of life, or when we feel like we're being scorched, <laughs> and we feel like we're in the fire, Lord, thank you that you are the fourth man in the fire, and you're going to do a work of protection and healing today. And Lord, when we are wayward, and this is such a wonderful prayer, Lord. Sometimes, Lord, we feel wayward, and that's when you bring us back. But Lord, we're going to pray today for the wayward ones. There's a wonderful promise found in Proverbs 22, 6. Train a child in the way they shall go, and when they're old, they will not depart from. Lord, that is a wonderful promise for us today. And so, Lord, we're going to take these, we're going to receive it, and we're going to thank you for it all in the name of Jesus. Well, of course, it's time for another song. And so let's sing today uh, one of my favorites, More Love and More Power. More love.
thank you so much for joining me today and looking at these wonderful healing scriptures. So what I'd like to do right now is invite you to our in-person service that will be starting today at 11 a.m. at Cornerstone Hall. That's number 6 Tache Street, in St. Albert, and we would love to have you join us for that service. Our doors open at 1045 and our service starts at 11 a.m. Father in heaven, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity to be able to pray together and to worship you and also as well, Lord, hear your word. Now we ask your blessing upon this day and this service and our time together in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Robert Dean Steele. Thank you for joining me today. God bless you.